Hey guys, um, this is not one of my regular vlogs. I'll be doing one probably later on. Basically, this is just a video response that I'm doing for a friend of mine, Leander. Um, you are absolutely right. You know, people don't realize how difficult it is in certain situations with the anxiety that we have. Um, and it is very hard to explain to people, especially explaining it in a way to where they can understand because it's, you know, if they don't suffer with it or have to deal with it, they don't understand. I mean, that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Basically, what he was saying is that anybody who suffers with anxiety issues, when we are in either a grouping or just out and about, it doesn't matter where it's at, and you run into the individual that... Okay, a couple scenarios. It can either be, got something in my eye, um, say just walking into a store and you notice somebody who is looking at you in a way that you know that they have figured out that you're gay. Um, that's very uncomfortable because you don't know really what to do. Your anxiety level goes up. You automatically assume, oh crap, okay, what's going to happen when I get outside? You know, all these things go through your head. There another scenario is, is when you are, you are already talking to somebody, say in a grouping of whatever, like an event of some sort, and um, they figure out the situation, and then they just clam up, and don't want to talk. You know, that's awkward. And it makes us feel, it almost belittles us to the point of like we've done something wrong when we haven't done shit. You know, we're just being friendly and we're talking. Another scenario is, and I have found more of this, but I don't know. You have friends that know your situation and know that you're gay and they have no issue with that. However, when you're out with them, and maybe they're with another one of their friends that has no clue who you are, you know, and they introduce you and everything is fine, and then all of a sudden they have an issue. You know, now we're in a position to where, okay, they know I'm gay now, apparently my friends never discussed it or told them about me, so I don't know what's going to happen here because now are they going to like me because I'm already a friend of their friend or are they going to ask their friend or, you know, it just brings a whole lot of anxiety on and all the thoughts run through your head and whatever. What I have found is the best thing to do and nine times out of ten it does work. Um... If you can pinpoint what their interest is or, you know, listen to who they're talking to and figure out what they're, you know, try to, you know, figure out what they're talking about so what their interest is and focus on it and go from there and just start talking to them and make them respond. Because if you're being nice to them and you're cool and you're on a subject that they're interested in, usually it will kind of open them up a little bit, and they'll be okay with it. You know, don't even get into any topic of, you know, the gay, gay issues or whatever. Don't even do that. Just keep on focus with what, you know, until they learn it's like, oh, okay, this guy's kind of cool. And then eventually, if you end up keeping on interacting with them, you know, it, they'll just open up more and more and more. Um, I have found that 90% of my friends are straight. I don't know why, but that's just the way it worked out, you know, because I'm just me. And once people realize and figure out that there's no alternative, ulterior motive, as far as, because, and see, that's, that's another thing that's wrong with the gay community. Not everybody in the gay community, obviously, but... Unfortunately, we have that already placed on us because there are so many out there that are after the straight person, so to speak. 
Sorry about that. I had an issue. Um, oh God, where was I at? Okay, I know where I was. Yeah, anyway, that unfortunately has, you know, with the whole scenario being placed on the gay community and the way interactions are concerned, that that I had just said is something that has been unfortunately placed on us. Some people automatically assume, assume that whenever we're being friendly with them or trying to be friendly with them and talk to them, that we're automatically trying to hook up with them, so to speak, and that is not the case. So a lot of times they will clam up and not want to associate simply because they more than likely have experienced that in the past. So, but, um, but yeah, it is, it's very difficult and it's very hard to explain. Um, you know, people just have to not assume things and be more associative whenever we're trying to and not just put that label on our head. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, and then you get the typical assholes that just, um, you know, it was the way, more than likely it was the way they were raised and they just do not like gay people, period. And that is really damn difficult because now we're in a uh, situation to where whatever the hell it is we're doing, we need to get this shit done and jet because we, we want out so quick. You know, it, it's just, it's unreal. And anybody who has never gone through this, they have no clue. Um, judging by the comments that were left on that particular video, it was, um, there were some good people out there, Leander, that you have, that watch you. I don't always comment, but I do watch your videos. Trust me, I do watch them. And just let it be known that, and I've said this in the past to you, way back when, but you are special. Don't think that, um, you know, because... We have the, a lot of the same depression issues and whatever. And so I do realize it's hard for somebody to tell us something and it get through. You know, even though we know, it still sometimes doesn't help. But um, just know that you are a genuinely good person. You're a special person, a caring person. I mean, come on, let's face it. How many people can do YouTube videos, okay, and snag a man across the world. Really? You got it going on. So, yeah. A lot of people see just how special you are. But, um, also, and very important, you are very, very blessed. Okay? Um, we don't know, obviously, what goes on off camera, but from what we all see, you are so blessed, you know, whenever you're with your parents, uh, they are very, seem very, very supportive. Your mom is just a doll, you know, she is adorable, and you're blessed, really, just, you cherish that, seriously, you know, but, um, and she is so cute, whenever she does the whole, hi, Colin, that is so, that's adorable, I love her. But, um, but yeah, just, I mean, as hard as it is, and as hard as it is to try to overlook it, just do your best. You know, focus on which you are, getting every, all the other stuff in order, because I'm not going to go into that, that ain't my business, but get all that stuff in order as best you can. Don't worry about what people are thinking when they're looking at you oddly, out and about. Because nine times out of ten, they're not going to say anything anyway unless you get that typical little punk asshole that says that, 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 that you know, you know, wanting to impress their friends or whatever. Um, and just try to, whenever, you know, you get into that situation, try and talk to them. And just see what happens. If they don't want to talk, just screw it and move on. It's their loss. If they don't want to take the time to talk to you and learn to, or get to know you, 
then they're not worth knowing. Then apparently they have other issues going on themselves. So, just we'll leave it that leave it there. But um, but yeah. All right, I would I might try. <laughs> I know this is it was a babble. I'm sorry, but um. Okay, I'm gonna get off here for now. Again, remember what I said. You know, just do the best you can and try to put that out of your head whenever just put it out of your head you know you have your friends and that you associate with and just focus on that and maybe when all the other stuff gets straightened out and other things are happening and things get a little bit better and i need to take my own advice i'm going to be honest but um yeah just put it out of your head so and also, I want to let you know that you are totally not alone. Okay? We love Madonna. The pro You know what the problem with her? She hasn't been here in I don't know how long. I don't know of any concerts that she's done in, even here in Florida, period. Unless it's been in Miami or something. Of course, I'm not driving down there. But, um... Yeah, she hasn't been here for quite a while. But, alright, I'm going to jet off here for now, and I will be watching your videos. Take care, remember what I said, and until next time, bye.